Hello, this is Ray Main here again with today's Bible reading. Today we're going to be reading in the book of Ephesians, chapter 2. And you hath he quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sins, wherein in times past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we all had our conversation in times past in the lusts of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ, by grace ye are saved, and hath raised us up together, and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches, riches of his grace and his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it's a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus under good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Wherefore remember that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands, that at that time ye were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace, who hath made both one, and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments, contained in ordinances, for to make in himself a twain one to man, so making peace. And that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity thereby, and came and preached peace to you which were afar off, and to them that were nigh. For through him we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. Now therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God, and are built upon the foundations of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone, in whom all the building fitly framed together groweth unto an holy temple in the Lord, in whom ye also are built together for an habitation of God through the Spirit. So we see here once again in this uh, course of scriptures that Christ came to uh, not only uh, make a new covenant, but to make a way for the Gentiles uh, to have a hope of eternal life. He's broken down the middle wall of partition between us. That's between the Jews and the Gentiles. At one time, uh, the Jewish people, the Israelite people, were the only ones that uh, had a hope of a covenant with him, that had a covenant with him. And under Moses' law, they were not to even uh, associate with anyone that was not a Jew. But Jesus came to break that wall down. And it says here, where was it, uh, that uh, he has done away with the enmity. Well, there's a lot of people, in other words, the working against. I guess there's people on both sides that's still working on that one, aren't they? Uh, when all they would have to do is just uh, let him said, for he is our peace, who hath made both one. We have to accept that. Do you know what? Uh, there's so many people that are against the Jews, against Israel today. Uh, they're also against the Christian folks now, I'm going to tell you. But uh, this is just one more thing. So that's all for today. Uh, let the love of God spread abroad in your heart toward your fellow man. God bless.